What's up, beautiful babies? Welcome to another episode of Bellcast. I am Gio. And I'm Bart. Oh, <laughs> hi, Bart. Hey, Gio. Uh, so I've been noticing you spending a lot of time on your phone these days. Really? No way. Whoa, whoa, don't get defensive. Let me finish what I'm about to I say. I don't fucking do that at all. What are you talking about? Hey, hey, we're filming. Get off your phone. Um, And, you know, I was like, is he cheating on me? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. No, what the hell? Uh, But yeah, you've been looking at trucks and cars Pornos. and <laughs> i wish those are way cheaper than the shit you're looking at yeah what's what's I know, going it's only on 3.99 a month are we entering guys. uh you pay for it it's fucking free it's, you gotta support the artist this i don't think it's going to the artist unless it's like their independent the production page. companies you gotta support the production companies that they pays. have unions they gotta cover all that it's a whole it's a whole industry you, you wouldn't you wouldn't know so why don't you pay the premium price i do 3.99 is not premium. i get the the triple gold standard the triple gold standard? There's no such thing. I'm a member, proud member since 2003. No, they do. What they do is you <laughs> get kidding. to you get to unlock a website, <laughs> and then you also Excuse get me. a torrent you could download. So you get to own it. They give you the NFT <laughs> for the porno, so that you also own that. <coughs> yeah, you get you got to get the triple gold standard membership. Oh and it's, shit! It's How much is that? 19.99 a month. I mean, a, a year. <laughs> a year? Oh shit! Yeah. Damn, this this is a very depend uh, the volume game because they know millions of people are gonna do it. So that's twenty million dollars yeah. a year. I mean, they do say they invented the internet specifically for porno. Yep, they did. That's amazing. That's what are you saying we... about trucks? I love trucks. I don't know, but now I'm just I'm fascinated. <laughs> I've moved on. I was gonna say that I'm so fascinated by the idea that like we're so deprived, um, or our sex drive is so suppressed that like they invented this fucking life changing tool so that they can pass around porn. Yeah. That's fucking wild. But anyway, let's talk about trucks. Do you think, <laughs> no, going back to porno, um, <laughs> is it ever, 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 ever in your mind, if shit hits the fan, you would be a porn star? Is it ever? Well, you went ever, ever, and then you like squinted. So that's like, I've hit rock fucking bottom, and I feel like I have no other options, then yes. Really? So it's a consideration. I mean, I, I look at all the tools I have in my toolbox. Yeah. Of course. That's the I thing. need to know I need to know what I'm working with here. Yeah, because that's because you know, like uh, a hot chick is obviously highly sought after in any type of uh in entertainment in general, where it's like movies, TV shows, right? Magazine, print models, and then uh go down the list and then most people <laughs> don't want to be in a porno. I mean there's people that are passionate about it. Yeah. Um but I always feel like that's an easy go-to way to I feel like every make chick money. has thought about it. Yeah. And if you haven't, then you should be really evaluating what it is that you have in your arsenal of tools because we're equipped with so much shit. Like the same way I know that, man, I'm hopefully like if shit hits the fan, I can find a job before going into porn that like it requires a tall person fucking getting shit off the highest shelf, you know? Like yeah. I would apply for that because- yeah. I know that's what I could do. What your strengths are. Yeah, like I'm not going to try to be a fucking horse jockey because that's not in my arsenal You'll of break tools. the horse's back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm definitely not going to win fucking races, you jerk. Oh, uh, okay. But um, Yeah, because the yeah, horse is on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> the sick dragon. Yeah. <laughs> They're not fucking small horses. I know. <laughs> but yeah, like I've considered it because I want to see what I'm, you know, like what I'm working with. What's in my tool shed? Yeah. My she shed. No, that's good that you even think about it because I don't think a lot of people think about those things. Would you go into porn? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, is this the yeah? <laughs> no, because uh, I don't, honestly, I don't think I would. I feel like I have so many, I mean, if it. If it nah, you son of a fucking bitch, I you can't know. answer it that way. Well, the thing is, Like, guys, of course, I would never, no, right? No, 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 What I'm saying is oh, this. Okay. I'm like, I was, you just set me up. If I was a hot chick, I would, I would. I would. It's just because guys aren't viewed the same way in the porn industry. Well, you're. We're I not going to get top dollar. You don't know that. I well, do. I mean, you're not going to get top dollar, but shit's hit the fan. You're, you've hit. And I don't mean to shame, like, I know this sounds really fucked up. I don't mean to shame any sex worker at all. Like, I think if it's, you know, I'm just, how. No, yeah, I'm, I'm just viewing it as low hanging fruit. For or, myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm just viewing it as low hanging fruit. And I don't fruit. even think it's bad. Yeah. I, I view you going into porn as me becoming a personal trainer at uh, like a gym. Okay. Because it's like you're hot. Porn always need hot chicks. Yeah. Right. I have muscles. I understand how to lift. People always want to get trained. Is it the thing I'm the most passionate right, about? No. Like helping like uh, like one person at a time? No, not really. But uh, I'm still down to do it, right? Yeah. So that's kind of how I see it. Where it's just low hanging fruit. I can go in a gym, probably get hired 
immediately. Not low hanging fruit. You mean like uh, a no brainer? What's kind of low hanging fruit? Okay. Right? Like, you know, when, when you have the homie that's like 63, 300. It's like it comes easy. Becoming a bouncer at a club is low hanging fruit. Okay. Everyone always wants the big doorman, right? So they're like, uh, hmm. are you down? Ah, sure. You know, yeah. kind of like that. So for me, it's so like. So you would never. What? Be in a, get into porn. It's not my low hanging fruit. That's what I I'm see. saying. It's like guys, number one, aren't that sought, off, sought after. Two, I don't think they're paid as much as chicks. I don't know if it's my, my low hanging fruit either. Hot chicks getting right. naked That's is true. always the it's most. It's really easy. It's the okay. richest of fruits and the most. That's why when there's a celebrity has a leaked sex tape, it becomes like the biggest thing on the internet. It breaks the internet. Yeah. Okay. But it's what I'm trying to say is I think it's cool that it's on one of your options and it's part of like something you consider because I think we all need earthquake kits in our house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have my fire extinguisher. Yeah. We all need those things. You <laughs> there know? it is. Yeah. Because um, for the longest time, mine was, uh, I think I gave up on it when I was 35. But uh, being a police officer or. Um, I mean, 35. So last year, because you're 36 yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You finally gave up on that? Well, because you age out. Okay. So this year. Not in porn. <laughs> so this year it was when I really had to go like, because um, I don't, I don't want to go back to school at all. Right. I, I, I think I'm done with school. But in my mind, because I'm always like preparing for doomsday, not in like, like apocalypse meteor doomsday. Yeah, you're always trying to sharpen your. But um, I always want to be ready and I hate being blindsided by life. Right. So right now we're fortunate where mm. plan A through C through D are all doing pretty good. Right. Those are pretty good. So I got at least four channels uh, before it gets to anything where I have to kind of go outside of my toolbox. But I also like to plan X, Y and Z all the time. My X, Y, and Z up until I was 35 was still become a police officer. They make, you could get, you know, you could rank pretty quickly, get good benefits and make good money or go back into the military. I have a bachelor's now so I can become an officer, make good money and have like a cushy job, you know, and, and provide for my family where they're going to pay for my housing and all that stuff. So you and Tyke are always taken care of because you and Tyke are always on my mind. So I have X, Y, and Z. But that's cute by because the way. Uh, I'm aging out where they only want people at a certain age to grow into their careers, the X, Y, and Z backup plan are, it's kind of gone now. So now, like if shit hit the fan, I would maybe like, and then we can't be in the entertainment or we can't be in the YouTube or content creation space. Maybe I would go back to school and I don't know. Be I feel like there's so many other steps and alternatives before that even happened. Yeah, there's definitely the, there's mm -hmm. definitely like the, I feel like there's the, literally A through Y. Well, there's definitely D through W for me, <clears throat> but I don't need to brainstorm those because that to me is still a luxury. I, I need to know X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? Do you kind of get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's cool that you were able to go into the alphabet that quickly and pick out the correct letter. Because for me, my default was Y because I know it's Y, Z, but yeah. you were like W. Because that's how that's to that's to me is the most I'm always trying to think of efficiency. So um, I think getting a black belt in BJJ is a luxury. What I need Absolutely. to do, yeah, what I need to do is either one year of jujitsu, so I really know how to handle myself amongst like 80, 90 percent of the population, or I poke them in the eye, kick them in the nuts, X, Y, and Z. That's kind of how I troubleshoot every solution. It's what's my ABCs, what's my X, Y, Z. Everything in the middle is a luxury. But if I have those, <laughs> if I have those. Damn, you just made a fucking song. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. A, B, C, C, X, Y, Z. Everything in, in the, the middle, middle is a luxury. <laughs> yeah. So like yeah, everything in the middle is a luxury to me. So um, as long as I have those taken care of, I, I always feel very comfortable. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why do you ask me if I ever, if I've, uh, I, um, I don't, so one, I feel like I'm very unique in that I even think this way. And then I, um, I think, so that's when I, uh, when we're talking about porno, I was like, oh, is that part of your X, Y, Z? Cause it's not part of your ABC. Uh, well, it's not, no, it's not part of Because the people that have been taking advantage of the mm -hmm. adult work and their ABCs, like the OnlyFans have been crushing it. Yeah, they've been smashing it. Good yeah. for them. That makes me but happy. But it's part of your X, Y, Z? Um, X, Y, Z. I think it's more on the Z, lower end of the Z. I see. For me. Yeah. But then that would also, that would also change if like some crazy life shit happened. Then I needed to make 
quick like bank quickly yeah then it might become an abc you know i don't know what needs to happen but it would have to be kind of catastrophic for me to be like oh shit but i don't have a problem with down so like i wouldn't know what it would be because i don't have a problem with downgrading anything in my life or yeah. my lifestyle yeah um so i think like it would have to be something where it's like a life and death situation amongst like our family, family emergency yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now let's go back to trucks. We're talking about me about trucks. I love trucks. <laughs> I like porn. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I was just saying saying that you spend a lot of time. And when I look at, uh, well, I don't even look at your phone. I don't give a shit. Um, but I think you're always just kind of talking about trucks and cars and stuff. And it's been more of a com topic of conversation these days than it has in the past. And I just want to know why. Oh, you don't uh, know why? No, I, I don't know you why. Knew why. No, I don't know why. <sighs> Women don't listen. Yeah. They don't pay attention. I don't yeah. feel hurt. No, it's because uh, remember um, in 2018, was it? Or 2019? I was going to get a new truck already. Mm, I don't remember. Okay. So going back to when I have, so I have my Black Silverado. Um, it was my baby. And it was going to be our ultimate family adventure vehicle. Yeah. You wanted to add stickers of all the places we had gone yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah. visit it. Awesome. So you just tell that part, which is CUNY. Yeah. Do you feel uh, seen now? A little bit. Yeah, you little bitch. Damn, what the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? No, so, um, so, uh, yeah. And, um, but then Barbell needed a truck for a lot of work duties. And I fucked up. I should just drop like a G or two and buy like a work truck. But I just let people borrow just because it's convenient. And then, you know, a couple of young guys just crashed the shit out of here and there. How does that feel when they fuck up your car? Feels bad. Yeah. Welcome to my world, Bart. Fucking up every single one of my vehicles. Can't believe you uh, walked into different. that trap. That's different. That's it's different. not. Hey, you want to know what's different? Why? Because you didn't build your vehicle. If I had a stock vehicle and all I have to do is return it to the original You just paint, scratched my wrap on my car right now. I did fuck that up. And that's, yeah. what, that's why I felt bad. That's why I had to tell you right away. Wait, all the other stuff you wait or you don't tell me? No, the other ones, I'm like, oh, that's not bad. It's like, that's just, that's like nick, nicks and nukes and, and stuff. Okay. Yeah, like that one, I was like, oh. that's why I was like, if you want me to, I'll take your Tesla back when I go to LA. Yeah, you did do that. You then, said I'll get it wrapped again. I'll wrap it right away because I, was I understand. Like, Whoa, it's not that big of a deal. But ruining, now you just put art. it into my. I got it. Because you're ruining art. You know? you <laughs> yeah, just I went, got whoa, it. Now. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what we're talking that's from about. That's the other podcast from last week. I listened to that one. <laughs> but literally, that's what happened. I was like, whoa. Yeah, because that's art now. You know, you're driving art, so that's different. But when I you're driving you. a stock, yeah, fuck it. Like your record, I'm like, come on, like I get it. So like when I when I created this truck, I had, I had a vision for it. You know, that's like my it's like I'm driving a piece of artwork. You know, it's like I made my I hand painted my Jordan ones or something like that. Right. And so when it got jacked up, it kind of just became a work truck in my mind. So for the last couple of years, I've always been just driving a, work, a borrowed work truck. And um, I've been wanting to get a new truck so that we could take our family around. And uh, when we start going on these adventures, I could get either patches or something or stickers and put it all over the inside of the car. I don't think make, patches will work, but stickers might. And make it like the car that uh, we have for like 10 years for the family or something. You know? CUNY. So that's where, I, that's where I was at. And I wanted to get the new Tahoe, but I've also been wanting the Raptor for a long time. And, we, and also I was considering the Tahoe too, because you know, uh, other family, or we were gonna have a second kid. I was like, if we have a second kid with two baby seats, for sure I need an SUV. Cause those things take up more space than a human almost. They do for sure. And, but now that we, we've uh, decided we're not gonna have another human being. So it's just gonna be the monkey dude. So I'm like, oh cool, I can go back with my original. I want the Raptor. But then now in 2021, I've seen so many goddamn Raptors. Everyone has a fucking Raptor. And then the new T-Rex or TRX came out. And I'm like, oh. There's a raptor killer, and I've always been a fan of anything killers. Um, so oh, it's in the title, raptor killer. No, it's just like when in someone when something is no, 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 it's like a it's an unspoken thing. Oh, gotcha. But when Community something thing. comes out to do something, I've it's always an answer to. It. I've always like for some reason I've always just gravitated towards that. Um, you said you're like I see them all over the street right now, and I don't like that. Why? What does that matter to you? Um, because the vehicle is also art for me. Cause I'm not, I don't just buy it and enjoy it that way. Like I buy it and there's, I have a vision for things. I don't, I want to start with a unique canvas. Gotcha. Well, and also probably seeing it so much kind of desensitizes you. It uninspires me. Yes. Yeah. And then it's boring. You're just like, you don't even see it anymore because you've seen it so much. Yeah. And I seen what so many people have done. So it makes me go, mm. oh, I, I, they've done it all. 
it's nothing special, you know? Yeah. Like with what my, an artist. I know. Like even with my Silverado, <clears throat> like I secretly made a Raptor killer. And so to me, it's still pretty cool. You know, I've never seen any Silverado with, with the way it's done like this. And I, I still think it's really cool even though it's all banged up, you know? Yeah. Well, it's banged up only in your eyes because like I don't see all of this stuff. You know, and oh, I also fucked up where I've been parking it. Uh, oh, I see that where one. Where the sprinklers. And so one side of the truck is literally like half as shiny as the other. Oh, I thought the part where you rammed into a pole. There's that. And then there's the, <laughs> the sprinkler side where the, the paint is not that shiny on one side because the the water from... So don't, don't ever park your car with the sprinklers because it will eat away at the it. the hard water and yeah. the minerals and all that. Yeah. So the TRX is really cool because the Raptor Killer, 4.5 seconds, 0 to 60. The fucking beast is V8. Is it a four-door? Yeah. Oh. It's, uh, it sounds the way the Raptor is supposed to sound. A lot of people that are it's into go, trucks... Bring, 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 like that? Um, I like... More like that. More like that. More like that. I know. The other one for sure was not even a truck. I was just fucking around. Oh, uh, fine. So... Yeah. But I guess you think I'm that stupid that you were yes, like... Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> You're like, no, it doesn't yeah. sound like that, babe. Yeah. And then... Uh, so there's that. And then also, one thing you said that inspired me a lot is just get whatever the fuck you want. And then I don't know why. I don't. I feel like a lot of people do this. Um, a lot of people, either they don't have confidence in their own decision but they end that up, sounds 100 percent. But they correct. put in a lot of other factors that contribute to it. So I think that's why it ends up being the most sold car in the world is a Camry or a Cord, because they go, "Well, that gas mileage, or oh well, there's that gets a bit of a the color, the color stands out too much." And then so you end up going from like the coolest cars to the most boring car, and everyone buys the most boring car because they're considering too many things. And then when you do the real math. Like the math between like a Prius and even like the most gas guzzling truck is not that much. You know, it's like might be 20 bucks uh, more at the tank and then it might be like a thousand dollars more where people spend a thousand dollars extra a year on junk food, you know? I mean, that's just quick math. But um, so for me, I'm like, I, I, feel, I, I feel myself getting in the lukewarm space again. And so when you said that, it kind of pushed me back into just, just do me, like get a fucking neon yellow yeah, because I, I don't know how a lot of people are. I just know how you and I are. And the way that we are, if we don't get exactly what we envision because we're both artists, if we don't get what we had envisioned, then we're always going to have that that little void. And it's not until you get the perfect flavor or whatever it is that you're seeking that you're like, okay, cool, done, moving on. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm just like, don't go into the lukewarm space because it's like you're not doing anyone any favors the know? problem is i have two it's like i only have a certain amount of money because i'm not a, a billionaire a billionaire or i don't have the money i want to get everything that i want um do i get like so i do want a truck and i want like a classic car do i get like halfway there of each do i spend all my money getting the the it for one of the categories and just buying a cheap version of the other one what should i do um man your struggles in life are fucking it's tearing me up <laughs> it's tearing me up inside they are some good struggles <sighs> you fucking you've made me. it in life babe. they're fucking tearing me up dude i don't <laughs> you've been losing i, I see some bags i know i've been like fuck do i wait for the cyber truck or what or do i just get the trx it's i just don't know how you function right it's because killing me inside because for me or maybe i just don't want that many things or the things that I wait, or the things that I want, maybe they're just more affordable. If you and give me a million dollars, I could spend it all on cars right now. Yeah, I bet. I mean, cars is a big purchase. Um, and a million bucks. They, and they'd all be, they could all be under, they don't even have to be Ferraris and shit like that. Just give me a million bucks, I'll spend it all. Yeah. <clears throat> oh shit, what was I gonna say? Oh, that, yeah, okay. So maybe the things that I want um, don't cost that much. So maybe I can get everything that I want all at once. Um, but like once I get the one thing, I'm satisfied and happy for quite a bit of time until I want the next thing. So for you, you're like, I want both. Should I get both right now? Should I get it later? What is and for me, I'm like, well, I don't know. If I got a new truck, for example, then I'd be pretty satisfied for a minute. And then maybe the classic car or whatever would come later on the road. <clears throat> I wish I was like that, but I feel incomplete I okay wait on that note let's keep you incomplete because i want to talk about our sponsors okay shout out to our sponsor zip recruiter zip recruiter is super awesome because we're about to hire 
a few more people for our team. And it's really hard to find qualified people. You know, there's just a giant pool out there. And a lot of times it's hard to be objective too when you're just going based off of hearsay. But what I love about ZipRecruiter is their matching technology and they find people with the right skills and experience for your job actively and then invites them to apply. So for example, one of the things that it does is you can type in the job that you're uh, offering the position for. And because these jobs already exist, it can it'll ask you, do you want to pre-fill out these fields? And they'll put all these prerequisites in there. Some of the stuff that you don't even know that you need yet, right? Because especially like if you're a startup like us, we haven't gone through the entire cycle of a business like journey. So we're we can, we're only capable of figuring out the things that we need, but we're not able to go, oh, you know what? This would be awesome for the future. And because they have jobs and positions for businesses for a long time, they already know the other stuff that are coming up. So now instead of like hiring one person now and then later hiring another person for the other job, you can go, oh, cool. I can just hire this person that can also do all these things. And there's a lot of people that are super qualified on there. So that's why I love it. A lot of other people love it too because four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. And you can go anywhere from an accountant to a zoologist, like literally everybody. So right now you can try it for free. So if you're looking to hire people, you can try it for free from this specific website only, okay? It's only for our listeners. It's ziprecruiter.com slash bell, B-E-A-W. That's ziprecruiter.com slash bell, B-E-A-W today to try ZipRecruiter for free, and then we get credit for sending you. So make sure you go check that out, ziprecruiter.com slash bell, B-E-A-W. Shout out to our sponsor, Unidragon. Are you looking for a new way to hang out or have fun? Something that doesn't have to deal with a phone or a gaming console, something that's gonna suck you away from being present. Well, puzzles, it's the old school way, and guess what, they're really fun, and right now, Unidragon brought back puzzles in a super dope way. They have super colorful designs with animals like tigers and wolves and dragons, and when you're done, they're beautiful art pieces that you can hang up on the wall, and it is the highest of quality because it's laser cut, wooden puzzles so you put them together and each piece fits perfectly with each other and this is something you could do with your family you could do it with your loved ones with your significant other so instead of always just us hanging out you know at seven o'clock all the way till nine being on our phones let's be present let's hang out with each other check out unidragon.com and use the code bell b-e-a-w for 10 percent off your first purchase it's unidragon.com use the code bell b-e-a-w for 10 percent off and you can build something, hang it up on the wall, and be proud of it, and move on to the next one. And we're back. I'm here to complete you. Thank you. Okay. I feel incomplete because I feel like I need a truck for our family stuff, and I want to go out and go shooting and do fun I can't believe you, you're using incomplete, but go, continue. Okay. And uh, so what's incomplete about that is... You don't have the fucking classic car? I, I got to drive stick shift. You're stupid. <laughs> you know I can't I mean? believe you fucking used incomplete. Fucking, uh, missing, How have you been living life these fucking 36 know. years on this planet? It takes a lot of strength. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. It takes this a shit lot that of strength, you yeah. say is so fucking mind blowing. The stuff that I have to endure is pretty crazy. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you and your truck. I don't give a shit. I'm a survivor. They call me that. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> we're talking about something else. Okay, fine. I think. Like, but what should I do? Should I get two of like B or C grade of you a know lot? What? I just no. have both. I just or told get you. hundred percent of one. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Should I get a hundred percent of the truck and or get a hundred percent of what's more reliable? Car? The Duh. classic car. Shut fuck you. A <laughs> fucking troll. Shut fuck you. <laughs> a fucking troll, man. Yeah, I mean, it I lasted say, the test of time. That's why it's still around. It's a classic. Yeah. Okay. What's the goal of the car? To complete me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you feel? Uh, what is uh, what is a side effect of of this incompleteness that you feel? I just can't live. I just can't. I just can't. I mean, I you know. look like you're thriving from out here. I know. I'm definitely thriving in the midsection too. <laughs> I just can't. I don't know. I can't make make sound decisions. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, just just get. I don't know. Just stick to the fucking truck. All right. Just stick to this truck. Leave it, your baby. It's already. You already. You said you already have the Raptor Killer. This is a fucking. You're insane. 
You're a fucking maniac. What about should I get the TRX or the Cybertruck? You're cyber a truck? fucking maniac. Can I wait maniac. for the Cybertruck to come out? First of all, let's focus on getting rid of this fucking WWE table. We are. We're in the works of it. We're getting yeah. this, well, this, getting this let's room make designed. This the, let's lose sleep over this. <laughs> I, I have. And we're getting it designed or planning it out. We actually are. And I'm really excited. I'm getting some lighting people. I'm talk, been talking to some lighting people. See how we're going to get it yeah. hooked up. Yeah, we're getting a complete face. New, new cameras face. so that we can cut to angles. So it's not just like weird. Or are multiple, we sideways? Yeah. Are we sideways or are we forward camera angle? We're going to have guests. Yeah, we're, we're really brainstorming all that. I'm excited. But that's like work time and my personal time to feel complete. Do you think I should get a Cybertruck or do you think I should get the TRX? I don't know. After what Tesla, um, after what Elon did to um, Bitcoin, you still want to you still want to invest in Tesla? Are you mad at that? No, nah, I'm not mad at it at you all. You don't give a shit? Because you I just mean, don't know the inner workings yet. I don't, yeah, like I think I never take what anyone says for what they say because I don't know them. Yeah. So. And you don't know what the plan is. Yeah. So like what Biden says. Some people get pissed the fuck off. I don't even know what his real agenda is. Same thing with Trump. What the shit that he says, I don't really know what the, because you know, sometimes it's kind of like the way that I view it is like this. You know, when, when you're a kid, like a baby, like Taika's age, and your mom's like, don't eat chocolate or go brush your teeth. And you got to tell almost like a white lie or you tell something. Oh, like, oh, like um, if you continue eating chocolate this much, your poop's never going to come out. It's going to turn into chocolate in your stomach. Some stuff like that, right? Because his level of understanding is just so far away from mine. Yeah. But and it's not until, so that and it's not until Taika sure. is like 18, he goes, oh, I see what my mom told me that. That makes sense now. 18? Or whatever, right? He's going to be dumb. Yeah, and he goes, oh, I, I, I got why they told me that. Like, there's always those lessons, right? And it's because their level of understanding is so far away from ours. So I barely understand city politics. I for sure don't understand state politics because you're managing multiple cities and counties. And in federal politics, I really don't understand. So in that big discrepancy, people that I don't know, I don't know why they're saying things. Yeah. You know what I mean? So with yeah. Elon, with Bitcoin, I don't know what he's really doing. The yeah. crypto community thinks he's pumping and dumping where you talk something up. That always turns me on. What, pump and dump? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah it does. You're blocking your beautiful where, face. Where, where pump and dump, what that means is you buy in where it's cheap, right? Because no one's talking about it. Then you hype it up and people do this all the time. They got buddies that work at Bloomberg, buddies that work at uh, Wall Street and they all write articles. They all synchronize this whole thing together. Boom, 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 doubles in price. And then bam, they sell. When they sell and they talk shit and it crashes the price again and they repeat and rinse and repeat the process. So they keep buying low, selling high, making lots of money in the middle. And um, some people think he's bashing on Bitcoin, but I don't know him. And he might be playing a far, he might be playing chess when I'm thinking checkers, you know? Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't really know. So for me, all I can focus on is what's in front of me. And the cyber truck's pretty cool. Are you better at chess or checkers? Honestly, probably checkers. Yeah. I played chess a lot as a kid, but I forgot a lot of what's it. What's a kid? How old? Probably like second, third, fourth, fifth grade. You know what's really cute about us? What? So we saw um, what is it? Queen's, Queen's Gambit. Gambit. Yep. And then literally the following day, once we had wrapped up the first season. We bought a chess board. Yeah. How many times did we play chess together? Not that many. Never. Well, because uh, <clears throat> I was explaining the game to you and you said, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think Taika was in the mix. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I don't, I don't know what the real reason is, but I remember trying to explain to you how the pieces move and then are like, fuck this shit. I'm like, all right, I guess we're not playing. All right, I don't want to hear the shit that you're talking. <laughs> um, so... Uh, do you ever feel your teeth inside your mouth as you're talking? Always. I always do. <laughs> do you? I do. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do. I do. Are you done with your dumb questions? Yeah, I'm done. So back to the real questions. <clears throat> no. Should I get a classic car? Oh, I hate you. No, don't get the classic car because how, where, what's the family fucking road trip vehicle now? Well, guess what? We what? We're going to get a fucking RV or something? No, guess what? The last two guys I've been talking to uh, with the classic car, I was like, do you trust this to drive back and forth from Vegas to LA? And guess what they said? Of course. Fuck yeah. And you know why? Because they actually drive that car to the Chevelle Festival every year. Okay, well. So they put the parts that they put in it. It's like the most reliable parts ever. And that's what they cost so much. All right. Well, if you want to walk around with fucking pit stains everywhere and like not cushiony, like maybe back pain, then go for it. What's pit stains for? Well, because there's no AC. I got AC in these. How, what year are we talking about? 67. Baby, baby. Got Bluetooth, too. What are you talking about? 
Oh, all right. Well, I don't know. What the fuck are you asking me for then? I got a sound system. I got Bluetooth. What do you mean? I got sound system. It comes with it already? Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't know. Don't ask me these you know dumb how cars, questions. These, you know how these cars are hooked up these days? No, I don't. Some of them are straight up like... I thought they were like originals. Hell no. Those things are whack. <laughs> I have every, every Chevelle I'm looking at has a Corvette motor in it. Okay. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at those. Okay, LS wait. Motor. I didn't know these details. The LS motor, six-speed manual, transmission. They're, they're parts that do not belong on this car. They're, so it's just the shell that you like? Yep. Okay. So the insides, everything is it has power steering. It's not what you it think. It has power steering. It's not what you think. Yeah. It's these guys are going down slalom like through cones and stuff. The the it's coilovers, modern day suspension. That's what I'm talking about. That's why they cost so much. Oh shit. Cause if you get one that's original form, it's probably like 10 grand, 15 grand, 20 grand, you know? But then the way that I want it done, they put a lot of time. They put dynamat. You know what dynamat is? Um I know. It's like this, uh, so they use it for sound audio system, but it's oh, a deadening okay. sheet. Yes. So those cars didn't have the greatest insulation. So they'll di- they'll take all the parts off the car, blast all the rust off, put dynamat all over the car. So now it's actually a dead sounding car. So you, it's not hollow and making all these weird noises. And then they put a brand new, you can order a crate motor. They put that in there, LS1 or LS3, 400 horses. They put a brand new susp- uh, transmission, manual transmission called a T56, I believe. Zero miles on it. Put it all together. All the electrical harnesses, everything. Brand new. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, even the dials. Like the one that I showed you that's well, really expensive. <clears throat> the dials that go like this. On the outside, it looks vintage. But you know what it is? They're actually digital. So it's made to look vintage, but you turn on the car and it's like, woo, it's digital needles. Damn. <laughs> that sounds tough. That's t- t- okay, but I know your lifestyle. And I know you like a car that can do everything. I do. I love those. You see? That's why I'm so complete. So I think I think that's why you have to get that first. It's a little torn. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck you. <laughs> Fine. Do I, should I get a, a, oh my God. a Chevy Tahoe then? Should I get an SUV? Why are you making me choose this shit? I, like, I don't know. Put I it like, on your story. Because I like I like also what, what the theme. So can, I'll, I'll pay my vision. Can you help me? <laughs> oh my God. There's so much shit you want to say in your poor little know, mouth. It's getting fucking wrecked. I'll pay my visions. Okay. What I like about the Chevy Tahoe, the new one, is it's a seven seater. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three rows. So you, me, and Taika, or your mom comes, or your broham comes, or whoever comes. Okay, I already told you you could take that out of the equation. Okay, but I'm just I'm just painting it. I know, but you can take it out. Golden retriever, throw it in the middle. Just 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 paint, okay? Don't don't ruin my painting until after I'm done painting. Got that going on. We go on our road trips, just you, me, and Taika. We lay all the seats flat. We roll out like a little two inch foam mattress and we can sleep inside the Tahoe. We don't need a tent. We can do road trips, sleep inside the Tahoe. I bring my rinse kit. We can shower whenever we need to. And that's like a little road trip vehicle, right? Um, it's not as fast. It doesn't handle as good, but I will lift the tires. I'll still put a roof rack. So I'll still have lights and all that stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. That's the Tahoe. The TRX, can't sleep in it. For sure, got to bring a tent. Uh, but it's fucking lightning fast, 4.5 seconds, and it can tear the dirt up like a motherfucker, and it looks mean, and it's a truck, and trucks are badass, and gets the pussy wet. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> so, which one do you think I should get? The pussy wet. Really? For sure. Why? Because I don't want to fuck you in a Tahoe. You don't want to fuck me in a Tahoe? No. That's the first time I ever heard that. <laughs> <laughs> from who how come you don't want to fuck me everyone wants to fuck me in a tahoe <laughs> i don't know i just want you to shut up <laughs> and the fuck? way and the way you like gave me the second one it was like oh gets the pussy wet and tears the fucking road and it was like really nice but the other one is uh we get it's to sleep time. And, yeah so you yeah. don't want cuny cuny is whack well w- well that's more occasional than it is the daily driver of like tearing the road up you know what i mean like you're probably going to do that once a quarter where we get to go on a hike or do one of those things oh, where we overnight it. But like, tearing up the road, I could do every day. Yeah. You're smart. No shit. Yeah. So it's up to you what you want to do, baby. So, okay, now we got to narrow it down. TRX or the Cybertruck? What do you think? Oh, TRX for sure. Really? Yeah, the Cybertruck is cool and all, right? But yeah. like, you want, you want your vehicle to be functional. You want it to be capable. Yeah. You want it to be slightly aggressive. Like you want to get the pussy wet. That's not a Cybertruck, baby. But the Cybertruck smoked the Porsche in a straight line. It does, but not like in a fucking Ren way, you know? But it doesn't the new way. 
Yeah, even that was kind of funny. Ooh, but it's made out of steel, too. Fucking rock hard steel. Who cares? All right, so guess we got to go check out a TRX and vlog about it. And shout outs to our sponsor, Best Fiends. Are you looking for a super fun game to play just to kill time? Whether you're waiting at the dentist office or you're waiting on a plane, what's cool about Best Fiends is you don't even have to be online to play. It's free to download and it's Best Fiends as in F-I-E-N-D-S, not Best Friends. And it's super colorful. It's a really fun game. It's engaging. And you're playing a game that's technically like low stakes. It doesn't stress you out. You can play it as you fall asleep. I see Mobber play it all the freaking time. Um, and Best Fiends has tons of puzzles to solve. And unlike other matching puzzle games, um, Best Fiends has variety and, you know, strategy. And the only downside is it's she starts playing, I get involved, and we both start playing. So we both love it. Download the five-star rated puzzle game, Best Fiends, free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. And download it free today. So thank you to Brightbox for sponsoring this podcast. I absolutely am a huge fan of Brightbox because they are completely customized happy mail. You're, you're probably like, wait, what does that mean? So you can send somebody basically a care package, but without the hassle of going to all the different stores or even going to all the different online shops to pick out the perfect stuff, they will do all of the work for you. So for someone like me, someone like Bart, or someone that just like isn't that best at giving gifts, this is the perfect service for you. So Brightbox is completely customized Happy Mail. Their purpose is to lift love and serve others easily and affordably. Okay, so you're basically curating boxes for the person that you love. So if there's like an anniversary that's coming or if you know that one of your friends or loved ones has had a rough week, then you wanna send them like a hug because you probably can't be around them or you can't see them or they live far or I mean, you just wanna hook them up with a smile, then this is perfect for you. All you have to do is you're gonna pre-select gift items with your choice of a card and custom note. And it's only gonna be 15 bucks. It's three easy steps, okay? You're gonna pick your box because there's a ton to choose from. So you can pick whatever box you want. Then you're gonna pick the card. Then you're gonna type out a little note for them. And that's it. They're gonna take care of literally everything else. Like, isn't that the best? I absolutely love it. So for everyone listening right now, when you go to brightboxes.shop, Use code BELL and you're going to get um, a free add-on in your box. Again, that's brightboxes.shop. Use code BELL, B-E-A-W, for a free add-on in your box. Yeah, I don't know. The Cybertruck's cool and all, and I'm a big Tesla fan. I love the technology, but I think for you, your personality, your lifestyle that you're trying to achieve, um, yeah, I don't think a Cybertruck is, is the route. I don't think it's the money shot. Yeah, I looked at a TRX. Um, what is the word? Oh, because uh, I was gonna get like thinking about the TRX or just getting the Raptor because <clears throat> Raptor has uh, is legendary. I could never imagine myself talking to you about my hobbies in this fashion. Really? Should what? I get this or should I get that? You gotta anyway. open up, baby. <laughs> I don't think no, I need you gotta it. Open up. Yeah, Maybe I do. just don't want expensive <laughs> shit where like it's gonna affect me that hard. You know what I mean? Like I don't like. I'll just get both and I'm like, I don't want either one or I I'll wish. return this one. Yeah, I right. Wish. That's what I'm saying. Maybe because my hobbies, it's not that expensive. Oh, fine. <clears throat> well, yeah, I was going to get the Raptor, but then I looked at the interior of the new Raptor and the interior of the new TRX is way better. Way better. What did I call it last night? Oh, you called it a uh, man fancy. <laughs> it's man fancy. Oh, man, I wish you were a dude. We call this podcast man fancy. <laughs> You wish I was a dude? Just so we call man fancy. Well, just save it for the okay. dude, your dude version. Oh, uh, fine. No, but yeah, you saw it because it was, it looked it's like. It's very man fancy. Yeah, it's And like, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like the inside of the TRX, it looks like, um, like a man cave, but luxury at the same time. And you can, you look at man it. Man fancy. Yeah, and you look at it and you're like. <clears throat> this guy uh, has refined taste. It's like, I think if John Wick wanted a truck, this is what he's getting. Yeah. Is it, does it come in like honeycomb seats too? I think so. I think it, the way they have the options. Yeah. It can go from like, 70, like 70 grand all the way to like 110. Ooh. Does it come with bucket seats though? Cause it goes so fucking fast. Uh, I think you can get it with bucket seats. Would that seats. be weird in a truck? I don't know. I, 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 so the, the top end Raptor 
has bucket seats. And I actually don't like that because it, you, it removes the ability to uh, incline stuff. I can see. Like, you know what I mean? So for me, I like, I still want to be able to lay back and I don't want it to be that race where it's like, I'm stuck in this position. Yeah, yeah. You don't want it to be like that because it's not really like for racing. Yeah, and I take Taika on naps all the time and I nap too when he's napping. So I like, I like, and that's also why I kind of like the Tahoe. The one reason why I like the Tahoe. And we're fucking back at the Tahoe. Well, the reason why I like the Tahoe is I'm like, if Taika's napping, I could literally pull over, lay down one yeah, side of the seat and then I nap on the side. This is him. the last year he's going to be napping. That's true. Like, he's just growing out of it. That's true. So then now you're stuck with the Tahoe that no one's napping in. Uh, that's true. Or at least we're napping in it maybe a handful of times a year. Yeah. Okay, we're out of the fucking Tahoe zone. Woo! All right. Looks like I know where we're going to get. Classic car, baby. Yeah, okay. Well, it's just, what else are we talking about here? What else are we talking about? You don't here? have hobbies like this? You don't have hobbies that fucking <clears throat> tears at your soul and it makes you want to just get something or it <clears throat> fires you up? Yeah, the biggest one that we're currently working on right now is um, designing the house. That's more expensive than anything in the world. Well, I mean, you asked me if there's a hobby. I know, but you're saying all of your <clears throat> hobbies are cheap. I'm like, right now, yeah. Like, so are it's you kidding like, me? So it's like clothing and it's like maybe makeup. Like, it's just very, or it's like art pieces. Like, they're very affordable things. Nah. Like, the most expensive, even the most expensive, like, purse that I would want, for example, the most expensive might be, like, three grand. The other day. And that's expensive, and day, I don't even want it that much. The other day, our interior designer was like, hey, so I got a couple of chair options. Do you want the one that's a couple hundred bucks, or there's one that's, like, nine grand? I'm like, <laughs> Nine grand, please. What the fuck? I'm just kidding. Yeah, this is, like, some Italian I'm like, that's fucking, fucking crazy. I'm like, chick shit is even way more expensive. That's not chick shit. It's just fucking, it's art. You're purchasing art because this was handmade. You know what's art? If I fucking got a pillow and I taped it to a cinder block, that's my new chair. And how much is that? 20 bucks. Oh, but is it comfortable? Fuck yeah. Then do that. You can't even knock it over. The cinder block king. I love cinder block stuff. Then make it. No. Why? You don't, you don't like it the way I do. Well, it doesn't matter what I want. It matters what you want. Fine. I'm just kidding. No, I like, I mean, I really like the interior design stuff though. I'm, I'm excited for the way the house is going to look. It looks. Yeah. Sick. That's one of my hobbies. It um, is a pretty penny because like it's, it's going to transform the way it looks and feels. And I don't want to move anymore. Like yeah. I want my roots to fucking sink the fuck in. Yeah. Like I want it. I want it to hurt when I move. <laughs> yeah. Where I'm like, do we have to? I've realized how old I'm getting because our neighbor uh, invited me over to check out his landscaping and stuff. And he goes like, that's right there. You said it. Yeah. You said it. <laughs> He's like, yo, my landscaping fucking old. is fucking sick. I'm like, really? And, he, and I took me into the backyard and he goes, see my patio furniture? <clears throat> I'm like, oh, damn, those were sick. And it was just, and then afterwards, I'm like, damn, did I just get fucking hype? <laughs> about fucking like fabric that won't fade in the sun what is that called sun fucking sunbrella or something umbrella. Like, oh yeah. my god i'm so fucking old and he goes check this out i'm gonna give you the full effect and he clicks it and there's like all the ambient lighting in the yard turns on i'm like damn that i don't is know tight. i feel like that's way cooler than like than what, what do young people talk about that they're fucking sick ass rides i mean you just finished I'm this close to buying a mustang <clears throat> what year any year no uh, manual or something that you just tear what around what year like a whoa, classic whoa, 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 whoa. no <clears throat> like any any mustang i love mustangs just just I think, we, I think we live like um maybe 10 15 minutes away from like a saline uh manufacturer or factory or something i can't afford those guys oh well, brand know. new ones are like over 100 i don't know maybe it's like a showroom and you can go check it out or something no nah, i want i don't oh, know what it is oh fine you don't miss driving stick fuck yeah i do fuck i think yeah, out dude. here it's gonna be fun because there's yeah. no traffic yeah like i enjoy driving stick even in traffic um but i mean i love changing gears and doing all that shit uh and in, in la there's just so much traffic and congestion everywhere or like very narrow streets that like you really can't get yeah, the full at, experience with all yeah with all the the new roads and it's all smooth and wide i'm tempted to get a porsche like an old porsche old porsches are sick what year are we talking about anything that's cheap <laughs> <laughs> so any porsche it could if be I, like a if i spend all my money on the truck i'm not gonna have that's so i'm like should i get two b's or two c's or should i get one a and an f tough baby do you need a hug yeah 
Oh, I'm so sorry. Your life is rough, dude. Yeah. You just So what should I get? Should I get two a, a and an F or two C's? You know what I'm talking about? An F, but an F's never really an F. It's a, more like a C. Or a D. Cause an F just sounds like why why How about even this? fucking two, bother? Two why B, fuck with it? Two B's or an A and a C. I don't know. This is just just I don't know. Put some shit in a hat and just pull that shit out. All right. This is some wild shit. You're fucking your mind <sighs> yesterday he was um <clears throat> like you felt like really um you felt like kind of like your energy was very heavy yeah like you felt like you were stressed and you had yeah. a lot on your mind and shit yeah so i always want to check in with you when you're doing good and i want to check in with you when i feel like you're thank not you. doing yeah. good thank you so i was like hey are you okay and you're like man there's just so much on my mind and i was like oh shit like what <sighs> You know this. I don't know if I should stick with a TRX, and I'm like, you <laughs> fucking piece of shit. No, I you, listed like seven important things. No, you didn't. Before I got to, you listed yeah. one important thing, and the other fucking four or five <laughs> no. were toys. And I'm like, fuck you, dude. No, I listed like. <laughs> I'm not seven, checking in with you again. You're I trash. I listed seven important things. You're absolute trash. No, it was one or two, honestly, because I was like, when I heard it pop up, I'm like. I'm out of here. I'm out of this conversation. And I just checked out. You're trash, dude. No way, Jose. You're trash. I'm losing you today. You're leaving me and you're going to LA and I'm. How does that make you feel that I, I leave? Oh, it's fun. Is it? No, I mean, it's just, it like just shakes up the routine. Like I just. Do you like it though? Do you like that? It no, up I don't like it. Oh, you don't? You no, like I the don't. routine? Yeah, I like when we're together. Oh, like I, see. I think it's the cuniest shit ever. Oh. Um, But. Yeah, when it shakes up the routine and I'm like sleeping alone and like park visits or whatever, or you're like you're not there or like just the whole just experiencing life and you're not there. I don't like it. Oh, um, yeah, so I don't like it. So I'm like, I always dread these uh, when you drive back. Oh, that's cute. Not even because like, oh, I'm like scared for your safety, but it's like, oh, man, like the bears aren't like we're not a unit. That's cute. We're like split up. Does it feel like I'm going to another country or no? Or no, it just city? feels like you're going to LA. <laughs> oh, I see. Like it just feels like. So it doesn't feel that far then? No, not at it's all. It's not like I'm going to like New York no. or something. No, it doesn't. Like I think anytime there's a plane involved and I think, oh shit. I mean, a plane can't get involved. It can get involved, but I mean like a long flight more than like four to six hours. Anything more than that, then yeah. I'm like, oh shit, you're far. Yeah, that's true. Or yeah. anything more than a four hour drive. Because if shit hits the fan and, you're re and you really miss me, you could always just come too. Yeah, and I'll so be there like, in four hours, which is nothing. Yeah, it's not a big deal. That's what I thank California for. Prepping me for these long fucking drives. Yeah. Because I'm like, an hour, that's it? That's what an really hour is opened, like 10 minutes. That's what really opened my eyes when we were house shopping. Remember, we did a same day trip in a car. It was doable. We drove from LA to Vegas. Yeah, it's tiring, but we it was We got here, cool. I think, what, 10 or 11. Yeah. Looked at houses all day until five or six. And we got home like And home. we got back home at 10. 10 or 11, yeah. And I'm like, technically it'd be rough, but you could commute every day, technically. You it can. Would, but it would be rough. It would add up. Yeah. Yeah. My brother would do that every weekend. Yeah, I remember. He'd drive up every Monday morning, work out here, and then drive back to California every uh, Friday night to be with his family. He did that shit for like 15 years, 10, yeah. 15 years. Technically, if you're a truck driver, that's nothing. True. Because you probably drive, that's like back and forth, it's 500 miles. And a truck driver probably drives more than 500 miles a day. Do um, truck drivers have a shortened life expectancy? I don't know. Because you know how they always tell you like you shouldn't be sitting for a long period I of time? I don't know, but I assume they do. And if they don't work out, Oof. I think their hips are not that good. Or hip flexors are probably not that good. Owie. Yeah. That makes sense. But a lot of people, you know, fitness is coming a long way. And people, I know people that bring dumbbells that are semi-truck drivers. And they have dumbbells, really? So yeah. And they just oh, train. The train on the side of the road, they like, you know, they know they got to get up and move around. That's amazing. So there's people that, people got standing desks now, you know, there's like, just people, I think they're understanding the knowledge and they're just, uh, they're like, well, if I don't have time to train as much as I want, then at least what I'm spending my, most of my time doing, I'm going to make that a little bit more healthy. Yeah, I saw, um, I saw this um, post on Instagram of this coach. I think he's a CrossFit coach. Um, and he was saying like, your body doesn't start feeling old because you've been working out for so long. It actually starts feeling old because you stopped. Yeah. And I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, my buddy. I never think about that. My buddy who's a pharmacist actually hit me up. And he was like, hey Bart, uh, have you ever pulled your back? I'm like, yeah, all the time. And he goes, oh, I actually hurt my back. 
And he's like, and it's not even because I don't like deadlift or anything. And I'm like, you hurt your back because you don't deadlift. Well, how, why are you hurting your back? Because you deadlift? <laughs> well, I'm, you know, powerlifting is extreme where you're pushing your body to the limits. Yeah. And I don't recommend that for anyone that's not interested in finding the limits, you know. But like if I were to, like what I think should be in daily PE for everyone. And I even think like jobs should have PE where everyone goes out into like the middle of the parking lot workout for 30 minutes. Mild deadlift, like, you know, 50%, 60% moving around, strengthen your back. You have better posture. You feel more confident. You get the endorphins going. And uh, I'm like, I'm like, you're. I'm like, to be honest, like you probably hurt your back because you got a week back and then you probably just just started doing something that your back wasn't prepared for. He goes, oh, yeah, that's true. My kid just started walking and I've been chasing him around like hunched over. And so now my back is, is hurt. I'm like, that's exactly Whoa, why. I'm like, that's you, wild. You, you cured it, you know? Yeah. I'm like the same thing with chicks with big titties. They get implants and all of a sudden the middle of their back hurts or their upper back hurts or something hurts. And then they're like, oh, I wonder what happened. I'm like, well, you're carrying weight all of a sudden and you're not doing the additional work to balance that out so you're you know it's pretty normal wow yeah very interesting all right buddy with the hardest life in the fucking planet I say hardest penis <laughs> yeah i get that that's pretty hard too um any closing thoughts we're wrapping it up uh no okay well on that note everybody thank you so much um and thank you again for just putting up with our uh constant moving like this space has just been so fucking sad. Just know that in the next few months, it's all going to change. It's going to be yep. popping. We're going to be here for a while. We love Vegas so far. So we're going to be here for a while. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to our sponsor, Barbell Brigade. We're dropping a brand new flavor of pre-workout. Our best-selling pre-workout. I know you guys love it. Feels good. Tastes good. And we created a flavor that tastes even better. Guava, mango. Mm. It's honestly the fucking shit. I fucking love it so much. So stay tuned for that. Barbellbrigade.com. Go check that out. And also go to junebeeshop.com to get 10% off all of our matcha, including the single serving. So if you've been dying to try matcha, you want something refreshing on a summer day, give that a try. It gives a little kick. Got theanine in it. Got all kinds of good stuff that's good for you. Okay? Go to uh, shop Junbe. Go to junbeeshop.com and use the code BAIL, B-E-A-W, for 10% off. I want to say thank you to our sponsor, ZipRecruiter. Um, just know that right now you guys can get ZipRecruiter for free, but you have to specifically go to this website, ziprecruiter.com slash BAIL, B-E-A-W. Um, remember, this is the only way you can get it for free, so just visit ziprecruiter.com slash BAIL, B-E-A-W. Shout out to Best Fiends. Download the five-star rated puzzle game, Best Fiends, free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends.